2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. The Bible says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some may count slackness, but his long suffering towards us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Shout this prayer point loud and clear. Every power of frustration in my life die in the name of Jesus. Every power of frustration in my life die in the name of Jesus. Every power of frustration in my life die in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hello viewers across the world. You are watching Evangelist Joshua TV. If you are not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe today. We are looking on the topic, five spirits behind snails in the dream. Five spirits behind snail in the dream. A lot of people have been coming across snails in the dream. Some will find themselves eating snails in the dream. Some will find themselves picking snails in the dream. Some will find themselves gathering snails in the dream. Some will find themselves putting snails in a bowl. Some will see snails dying or snails moving around their body. Or there some people will see snails in their bed in the dream. Some will see themselves buying snails or selling snails in the dream. These are dreams that could indicate positivities or negativities in the life of many people. Snails on the positive side can represent pregnancy, can represent fertility, can represent baby, can represent project, can represent goals, can represent wealth, can represent patience, can represent waiting upon the Lord. So snails on the positive side can represent a number of things. By the grace of God, we are going to tell you the spirit behind snails in the dream. Yes, there are spirits that controls, that manipulates people today. The spirit behind them is the spirit of darkness. The same thing applies that there are some spirits that inspires, that encourages, that motivates people today. That spirit is nothing but the spirit of the Holy Spirit. So when you are facing some problem, there is a source. And there's a power or a strong man behind it or strengthening that problem in your life. The same thing happens to some dreams, nightmares. Nightmares do not just show up in your life or in your dream. There are some powers that are activating those seeds of nightmares or evil dreams in your life. You may just wake up and realize that you had a very terrible nightmare. There are some powers behind it. Who are those powers? that are behind those negative dreams that you have been having. So, by the grace of God, we are going to tell you this, the destructive spirit behind snails in the dream. Number one, the spirit of slowness. The spirit of slowness. Slowness. Find yourself slow. Slow. Slow in thinking. Slow in making decisions. Slow in formulating your plans. Slow in generating ideas. Slow in making progress. No wonder the Bible says in our opening scripture, the Lord is not slack concerning his promises. When he make a promises for you, be rest assured that that promise will be fulfilled. The spirit behind that snake you have been having in the dream is the spirit of slowness. Yes, the enemy wants you to slow. Or God wants you to slow. Be patient. Trust in the Lord. And slowness on the negative side can be time consuming, can represent the spirit of delay, can represent the spirit of sluggishness. You see snails. Snails moving gradually, gradually, gradually. Sluggishness. When it's supposed to be having, making some kind of fast movement, you are going gradually, gradually. For some people, it is the spirit of patience. Maybe you are be running, you are being in haste, pursuing after your goals. But the Spirit of the Lord could be telling you or using that snails in your dream to tell you that you need to slow down your pursuit, slow down your running ability, slow down and let God be ahead to make things available for you. And on the negative side, the spirit of slowness is the spirit of delay. 
The spirit of slowness is the spirit of failure. The spirit of slowness is the spirit of vain efforts. You know, sometimes when snails is going, is going, is going, after some time the snail can divert. It can divert to another place, maybe to the left or to the right. The spirit of slowness. And when you're having that spirit of slowness, it's not good sometimes. It means somebody is not active, somebody is not agile. You are not proactive. You are not making some fast decisions. And that is why you have remained in one spot for some time. So you have to think smartly. You have to do something smartly so that you can achieve your goals faster. Because for some people, the spirits of the snails have been programmed in their life. To do what? To bring them down. To cause delay. To cause limitation. Embargo. Promise and fail. Rise and falling. Near success syndrome. Failure at the edge of breakthrough. The spirit of snail is there. If you are coming across snails in the dream, whatever things you are believing God for, it means that thing is going to be delayed. It will be slow. And on the positive side, the spirit of the snail is the spirit that something good is coming. But it's coming sluggishly. You have to wait for the sluggish movement of that good things that is coming to you. In all, slowness is not good. You have to break that yoke of delay, that yoke of struggle in your life. Number two spirit behind snails in the dream is the spirit of struggle. Snails struggle. The spirit of struggle. I want to ask you a question. Are you currently battling with a problem? You have been struggling in the marriage, struggling in your place of work. It seems that your effort is not felt in that thing, in that project, in your organization. Nobody, nobody wants to appreciate you for the good job you have done. Struggling in the marriage, struggling in your ministry, struggling in the areas of your business. You are struggling. At least it is good for somebody to struggle. At least you know that the end purpose of that struggle is to achieve something. But you, it is not. It's like the spirit of profitless hard labor is working against your effort in life. Some of your friends that you graduated from the same school, from the same university, most of them, they are doing great in life. But you, you are still, but you, you are still struggling to climb the ladder. Your friend, they have climbed the ladder for many years. Look at your age now. 40 years, 45 years, 50 years. If you look back now, nothing tangible you have achieved in your life. Keep on struggling. Struggling, 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 struggling out of nothing. The spirit behind it is the spirit of profitless hard work. They do not want you to enjoy the fruit of your labor. You are working and somebody is reaping the reward of your labor. In the realm of the spirit, it is wrong. Somebody is using your destiny. The spirit of the snail is the spirit of hard work, profitless hard work, struggle. You have to bind that spirit, break the yoke of struggle in your life. If the struggle is coming as a result of inherited battle in your family, you have to deal with it. If the struggle is coming as a result of your mistake, you have to deal with it. If the struggle is coming as a result of the friends, your relationship you are keeping, you have to deal with that struggle. Yeah, it is fine to struggle. At least you are struggling to achieve something, hardworking. You are a hardworking person. But yet, your hard working is not bringing food on the table. You are working hard. You are draining yourself, draining your knowledge, draining your abilities, but nothing to write them about. In that organization, you are draining. You are not achieving anything. Somebody is taking credit of your hard work. This is wrong. You have to ask God for favor. God, change my situation. I do not want to struggle in vain again. That is the spirit of the snail. Whether you are eating snails, you are picking snails, you are guarding snails, and you discover that you are in a problem, you are struggling, that is it. You have to deal with it. Number three spirit behind that snail in the dream is the spirit of frustration. You'll be frustrated. The spirit of frustration. Nothing is working out for you. You put your hand on something, that will not work out for you. You enter a relationship, the relationship will not work out for you. You enter into a partnership with somebody in an organization and yet that partnership did not work out for you. You try your effort to fulfill your destiny 
and everything ends in frustration. And the spirit that is behind it is the spirit of the snail. You have been having snails in the dream. They want to frustrate you. The spirit of the snail is the spirit from the enemy, the witchcraft spirit. They want to frustrate you everywhere. Frustrate you. Confuse your life so that you can take decisions against the wills of God. Frustration in the area of finances. They've drained your finances. In fact, to the extent that they won't attack the source of your income, attack your business, attack you in that place of work. It's as if you have been brought down from your place of authority, from your place of glory. The spirit of frustration set in in your life. Look at your beautiful wife and children. There's nothing you can give them for food to make them feel comfortable. You are frustrated. Frustration can lead a man to do something evil. So the spirit behind it is the spirit of the snail. And the spirit of the snail is powered by the enemy, by your enemy, as old wickedness. You have to deal with that spirit before that spirit will destroy you totally. I pray, may you prevail over that spirit in Jesus' name. The first spirit is the spirit of backwardness. So tired. Going back to square one. Starting all over again in life. Failure at the edge of breakthrough. You have done so much. In fact, you have saved, you have invested. But for you to possess those things, you discover that the power from your foundation cut you off. The spirit of backwardness. Going back again. It's as if somebody is remotely controlling your life. Look at your life now and examine. Are you making progress? Or you are stagnated? Or you are going backward again? There is a man watching me now. You have traveled abroad, and yet you feel that you are not achieved. You are not fulfilled in that foreign country. You want to come back again. The spirit of backwardness, the spirit of the snail is working against you. And the spirit of the snail can be sponsored by the ancestral powers. Forty foundation, generational embargo, causes, covenant, evil dedication. All these things can constitute snails in the dream to fight you. Somebody will be repeating something again, repeating, repeating. They are the spirit of backwardness, the spirit of struggle, the spirit of difficulty, the spirit of challenges, the spirit of near success syndrome. There was a case of a man who had been working in an organization for about 15 years, and the boss of that organization refused to promote this man. It was when this man died, maybe about a week later, the boss of that organization now said that, oh, we want to promote this man. Never know that this man is dead. I pray for you today. Every power that does not want you to eat the fruit of your labor, every power that wants you to die on the day of your glory, I command that power to die in the name of Jesus. Say no to backwardness. Say no to backwardness. Say no to retrogression. Say no to frustration. They are not for you. They are not the program or the blueprint of ever concerning your life. The Bible says the Lord is not slack concerning his promises for you. God cannot be slow because your friends, they are making it, they are buying cars, they are buying land. They are achieving greater things in life. They are wearing good clothes. Should you want to do the same thing when your time has not come? There's time for everything. Be content there with the little one you are getting. Do not rush. Do not put yourself out of pressure to go and do something. And at the end of the day, the law enforcement will nab you, will arrest you. Be contented. You only know today, but you don't know tomorrow. Appreciate God. Trust in the process. And the Lord Almighty will put food on your table. It will satisfy you in Jesus' name. Number five, we are talking about the spirit of mistake. The spirit of the snail is the spirit of mistake. Yes, mistake in marriage. You just make that wrong decision. Everybody, they have advised you not to marry. No, 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 no. The spirit of the snail is the spirit of the ancestral powers. A program that thing in your life just to make mistake. Make this mistake. Errors. Before realizing, you're not beginning to regret that you are making that mistake. They program that thing. You have been having that dream about snail. They want you to make mistake. Or you're about to make mistake and God is showing you that dream for you to pray against it. You're about to do something. You're about to get married. You're about to enter into a contract with somebody. You're about to travel abroad. You're about to go to your village and you are seeing snail. 
it is a red flag that you're about to do something that is disastrous to your life and destiny. You, you need to intensify some efforts to stop that thing that you think is going against the will of God. The spirit of the snail is the spirit of mistake and errors. The snail will be going, going like this, going like this. Before you know it, the snail will stop. After it stop, it will divert the spirit of mistake. Are you making a mistake right now and you are regretting? Are you making a mistake right now and you are crying? I don't know. Oh Lord, I have made this mistake. In the spirit of the snail, they have made you to make a wrong decision. They want to swallow you. They want to rubbish your image and destiny. You have to pray. If any of this point, any of these symptoms is applicable to you, then you have to pray. If possible, go for deliverance ministration at Mountain of Fire and Miracle Ministries. Pray your way for your breakthrough and deliverance. Do not fold your hands and say, it shall be well with me. Work out your salvation and the Lord Almighty will save you and cast out that spirit that always follows you to bring bad luck and shame to you. Your deliverance is now in Jesus' name. Close your eyes. Say prayer for number one loud and clear. Say, thou spirit of the snail in my life, Die in the name of Jesus. Thou spirit of the snail in my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Thou spirit of the snail in my life. Die in Jesus' name. Two, ancestral snail of my father's house. Walking against my progress. Die in the name of Jesus. Ancestral snails of my father's house. Walking against my progress. Die in the name of Jesus. Ancestral snails of my father's house. Walking against my progress. Die, 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 die. In Jesus' name. Three, say powers assigned to use snails to slow down my progress. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to use snails to slow down my progress. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to use snails to slow down my progress. Die, 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 die. In Jesus' name. Fall asleep. I want you to shout this prayer point loud and clear. Say, snails of captivity, I am not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Snails of captivity, I am not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Snails of captivity, I am not your candidate. Die, 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 die in the name of Jesus. Snails of captivity, I am not your candidate. Die in Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. Man, if this broadcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. This is Evangelist Joshua Oreke. God bless you. <laughs>